stuff, but um, it's great to be able to start on the front row. Now, I don't know if anybody got your reaction after Jimmy winning the clash, but kind of mm -hmm. a hot day for Hendrick Motorsports. You go one, two, three, four in the poll, and then Jimmy yeah. wins the clash. How was the day for you guys? And wrap it up just as a member of that team. Yeah, it was fun. It was, uh, you know, we had a couple strong messages from the boss over the off season to, to make sure we perform. So, um, you know, it's good to start off the season like that for, for Hendrick Motorsports and got a chance to talk to Jimmy. Um, he tried to urge me to run the half marathon with him, which I did not want to do. So uh, thankfully, I, I didn't me. have to do that. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. All right. Well, since I've had you in here a couple times before, mm -hmm. we've never done a Twitter Q&A with fans. Yeah. So I sure. asked them earlier on Twitter to send us some questions for this. We're going to walk through some of those. Cool. So the first one, Patrick wants to know, and I'm sure you get this a lot. How weird slash awesome is it to win the poll for the biggest race of the year on Sunday and then go back to classes <laughs> on Monday? Yeah, it's definitely weird. I mean, it's... Um, you know, part of the part of the deal I've always had, uh, you know, with Liberty University, they kind of uh, make my class work to where I can do it during the season. So, um, yeah, it's not too weird. I mean, it's just I'm <laughs> a normal kid during Monday through Thursday, I guess. So yep. uh, I, I enjoy that. A day in the life of William. All right. Yeah. Amanda wants to know, how does it feel to be racing full time without rookie stripes for the first time in your career? It's fun. I don't have that target on my back anymore. Uh, always had that target with the rookie stripes, especially in the Cup Series. It's kind of you know, it takes about six or seven months to get, I guess, you know, kind of um, welcomed in the Cup Series. So I have that all out of the way and I can just focus on racing. So it's fun. Did you get to peel the stripes off? Yeah, I did that <laughs> at production day. So that was fun. <laughs> that yeah, was that's good. Cool. All right. Garrison wants to know, what are your expectations to succeed when you're paired with a person like Chad Canals for a 2019 season? I think there's, you know, a lot of expectations from the outside, but um, you know, we've got goals we want to accomplish, but I think there's certain things you got to do to get there. So, uh, you know, we're trying to do all those things first, try to, yep. try to, you know, finish in the top 15, top 10, uh, you know, which I think are pretty reasonable goals for us, especially second year. So, uh, I think we can do those things first and then hopefully get to winning races soon. All right. Well, starting with the Daytona 500, Dallas wanted to know Thursday, we have the duels. Do you try to win the duel or do you hang back yeah. like Alex Bowman did last season? Or do you just attack and go after it? Uh, yeah, we're going to have to talk about it a little bit. But, uh, <laughs> you know, it's Chad's race car. And, uh, <laughs> you know, it's not really – there's nothing for me to win I'm in sure that Chad race. So, hear that. <laughs> yeah, he, uh, you know, he kind of he kind of has a say on that race. But, you know, the gloves are off when we get to the 500 and uh, try to win that race. So, I think our main goal is to win the 500. But um, we'll see what happens. All right. Well, you're starting pretty close to it. All right, Trucker Zane wants to know, how much have you already learned working with Chad already? Yeah, I've learned a lot. The guy's, uh, I mean, he's kind of a geek when it comes to racing. He knows <laughs> everything. Uh, I feel like he knows everything about my career, like, without even talking to him about it. So uh, it's pretty cool. Um, you know, he's obviously very accomplished, but he doesn't act like, you know, he's better than everybody. So, uh, so yeah, I, I enjoy working with him. I think one of my favorite clips from – the poll session yesterday was watching Chad just walk from the box yeah. down pit road and he just had this huge smile on his face. You could tell yeah. he was really excited for you. Yeah, he was excited. It was fun. All right. And then the last one from a fan, Christian wants to know, how does it feel to have your teammate Alex Bowman will be right beside you as mm -hmm. you lead the field to green for the Daytona 500? Yeah, it's cool. I mean, it's uh, somebody asked me that before and it was kind of, uh, you know, I think it helps you a little bit just knowing you have a teammate there. But once the first lap goes by, it's all, you know, it's all just jumbled up and there's 40 other cars out there. So uh, not really sure what to expect, but it is cool, you know, starting on the front row, row with him. Now for the Daytona 500, it's one of the crown jewels of our sport. How excited are you? I know you wrapped it up on your rookie season. You got that first one out of the way, but this mm -hmm. is your second Daytona. What does it mean to compete in this race yet again? Yeah, yeah, it's special. It's, uh, it's the coolest race we have. Um, the fan atmosphere, the, the flyover, everything is, is really special. Um, it kind of it kind of geeks you out as a as a driver because it's something so so cool and so real. Uh, so yeah, I'm excited about that. And second time around is cool. Yep. Did Mr. H say he wants y'all one, two, three, four for that race too? Yeah, that'd be ideal. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be yeah. tough to do, but uh, it'd be ideal if we do that for sure. All right. Well, we will see how William Byron does in the Daytona 500. He's gonna lead the field to green coming up on February 17th this Sunday, 2:30 p.m. on Fox.